This is uh, Richard back at you. I want to show you how to make a power glide pump last longer and how to pick the best 400 pump for your uh, high performance application. I learned a long time ago uh, from a gentleman on uh, how to modify these power glide pumps to make the pump gears last longer under high uh, pressure conditions. Anytime you put a power glide uh, trans brake valve body or fully manual valve body on a power glide or a 400, uh, you have pump gear uh, wear. Uh, especially on the power glide pump gears, the surface area right here that runs in the body, it's just not very wide compared to a 400. But the 400 has that problem too. And the problem is, uh, there's just not a lot of oil getting on the back surface and staying on there. And when you put high pressure to it, it tries to shove uh, this gear this way in the pump body. So what we've done is we've drilled a 330 seconds hole in the pressure port here. And then we come over here and you can see it's in the middle of the backing of the where the gear is going to be running. And then we chamfer it just a little bit to give it a little bit of a pocket. And that puts a lot of oil on the back side of that gear that's trying to be uh, pushed against it. And what it does, it just pushes all the oil out. And this basically puts it dry on this back area back there. So, but that's how we make that live like that. It, it, the pump body and gears will live so much longer when you do that. So pretty simple on that one. Also on the power glide uh, pump stators, you have like a small V8, V6 style stator, this uh, converter charge port hole right here. See how tiny it is compared to this one here. Now uh, the V8 ones, uh, the hole's about twice that big from the factory, but anytime you do a trans brake one, anything like that, they want you to drill it out. And we like to drill them out to about a 7, 30 seconds, which is about that size right there. See the difference there? But when you get over to the 400, picking the best pump for the 400 would be uh, this one right here. If you notice, GM put a little pocket of oil back here on the back side of this gear right here because when you put a trans brake on it, uh, it does the same thing. It tries to shove the gear that way. And they add a little bit of oil right through here uh, to keep it from running dry. If you look at this one, the pocket's not there. So... You could come in here and cut your pocket in and probably with some tooling, uh, put a, so you can put some oil on the back side of that gear. Do it that way. On your 400 stator, uh, your converter charge hole here. Anytime uh, we do a trans brake valve body or a fully manual on a 402, uh, we come in here and restrict this hole. This hole is just massive. Uh, we'll tap it, put a jet in there, about 120,000 jet uh, hole in there. Uh, works really nice so but anytime you're doing a power glide you got time a 330 second hole in the port pressure area right here all the way through see it right there Shut it out the other side right to the back chamfer it just a little bit that way you get more oil on the back side of that gear to keep it from wearing i mean it's it's night and day difference when you pull the pump apart after you know, a couple years of running or a fresh enough job, you'll see a big difference. So, well, guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, push the notification bell, and have a great day.